Hello. So one of the questions I get asked all the time from people wanting to get started with 3D modeling is which software should we use? So if you're wondering about this question, then this video is for you. So before I get started, in this video, we're going to be talking mainly about parametric softwares that are mainly used for mechanical applications. And those includes a uh, wide usage in industries like aviation, construction, consumer product, and also automotive. Popular softwares in this area include Fusion 360, Inventor, SolidWorks, and also Katia. So we're going to talk about those four softwares in a more specific way, but also this will set a framework of looking at different software wherever they are. So with those softwares, you can pretty much do similar things. However, they do fall at different levels. So let's start from the bottom. At the bottom, we have Fusion 360. This is the newest software out there from Autodesk, and it is a cloud-based software. And for many of the users of that software, they report that it is very easy to use in terms of interface. And this is especially talking about designing and modeling surfaces. This includes external bodies of cars or uh, external bodies of computer mouse. However, in other aspects like more complex parts or assemblies or even simulations, Fusion 360 does fall behind other software. And that makes sense in a way because it is the cheapest software as well. And if we go one level up, we can find softwares like Autodesk Inventor and also Dissolute Systems SolidWorks. And those two softwares we can look at as direct rivals to each other. So whichever you can do in one software, you can probably do on the other. And both softwares are very capable in which you can use it to design a full car engine or even a full car a big uh, uh, a good sized uh, construction models and so on one advantage of solidworks over inventor is that solidworks does have a larger user community and so when you go online to look for learning resources it's much easier to find those for solidworks compared to inventor due to the larger SOLIDWORKS community. And if we go one step up, we can find a software like Katia, also by Dissolute Systems, which owns SOLIDWORKS as well. And Katia, for some reason, got a name for much more complex and heavy applications. And this is why a software like Katia is, of course, more expensive than all the others, and also commonly, more commonly used in applications like aviation, designing full aircrafts, for example. So all those softwares fall under parametric modeling for uh, mechanical applications, more or less. There are other softwares that are catering for a little bit different type of applications. For example, we have Autodesk Revit, and that application caters more toward architectural needs. So you can do blueprints and stuff of the sort that architectures often use. Another software would be 3D Max. And 3D Max excels in animation and also very high quality and good renders. And that's why it's being widely used by animators and also game designers. So that's a brief highlight of some of the different softwares out there and what you can expect from them. In terms of recommendations, it is very difficult to give an absolute recommendation for which software should you use because that really depends on your application in that particular software. It also depends a lot on what industry you're looking at and what software is being used by the company you work for or the university you are studying in. So for which software to use, that would be a decision that you have to come up with. I hope that helps answers some of the questions you might have about 3D softwares. 
uh, please let us know what do you think, what kind of software do you use, and also what other information you would like to learn about the world of 3D modeling. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.